we're going to count pixels here. Right above Mario's hat. We want there to be four black pixels between this brown stuff and the line of red pixels that represent the top of his hat. Of course, counting four of something that look identical that are right next to each other is really easy, especially in real time when stuff is moving. But we're in a convenient position right now where there's one pixel of this cape here. Two. Three. And then we've got two pixels of black. So we know that this is not the right position. So we're going to frame events to there. Make a save state. There are now four pixels of black between the red and brown. If I spin jump, I just hold that and then start the game running again. I clip through the ground. If I frame events once while in that same position, you'll notice that there's no vertical change being made here. And if I spin jump, I still clip through. If I frame advance twice, there's still no vertical change. However, if I spin jump, well, it doesn't even register. So, we've got three frames here. That all appear to have the exact same altitude and only two of them will actually let, let you clip. Fourth frame, altitude changes. And sure enough, if I try to clip through, it's still die. So, and I could demonstrate it, but I trust you can just take my word for it as well. If you tried spin jumping one frame before, you would just spin jump against the ceiling, and then nothing would come of it. And you'd still get smushed. So you've got two frames out of th three that look essentially identical unless you're sliding. Well, and I guess the coins are in a different state of flashing, but I doubt that <coughs> has too much significance. So two frames to get this clip. pretty tight, but it's not quite as tight as, say, this clip. Let's make another save state. Now this one will only work on blocks. You can't see it here because, you know, there's other edges, but in this stage, if you've got a, a floor and a ceiling that are you know, one tile apart. Um, that's a particular kind of block different from this one up here. That's a... that you can kind of clip through just by standing up. The thing is, it's frame perfect. So I'm going to frame advance here. And we're going to count the frames that Mario's hat is occupying the brown space. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm sure you noticed, uh, of those six frames, it looked like there were only three. Because this thing is rising at a certain speed. And that certain speed... Um, happens to move up at one pixel per two frames. But only at that sixth frame will Mario be able to clip through the ground. If you do it at the fifth, or you do it at the seventh, you're a pancake. So allow me to demonstrate. We're going to get back into position here. One, two, three, four, five. Stand up. Dead. Back in a position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You notice Mario moved a little bit because he's in the process of being smushed. 
Let go. Dead. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stand up, and you go through. Every time. This is stupidly hard to get in real time. <laughs> but it's doable. I didn't honestly expect to get that on my first try, but, you know, whatever. 